welcome to another episode of the road to full planche this video will be dedicated to the tuck planche in my planche videos I have never talked about it I'm always blabbering about advanced tucks or one leg planches but I have a few friends and subscribers who cannot perform a tuck planche and you know for them those videos are useless they cannot follow along with them until they have the tuck planche down and so far my videos have been leaving those people behind uh, to be honest I'm not the best guy to talk to about achieving the tuck planche because I've never had to struggle with achieving it the very first day I saw Hannibal for King doing planches I watched a few tutorials and when I saw the tuck planche I just tried it and I was able to hold it so I guess I got my tuck planche from doing basic dips and pull-ups I could also do them with additional weight maybe that's what did it honestly I don't know but I've never had to struggle with it but in this video I'm gonna tell you what I would do if I was unable to hold a tuck planche so the first thing I would do is to check if I can hold a straddle tuck planche I think it's also called a frog planche but I mean let's just call it what it is it's a straddle version of the tuck planche so it's gotta be easier here's how it looks like from the front as you can see my legs are not touching my arms because that uh, would make it into a frog stand and we're trying to do a planche so if I can hold it, great. I'll start developing it with three holds per workout and then three holds of planche lean. And I would aim to achieve about 20 seconds, which should give me the strength to perform a normal tuck planche. If I can't do a straddle tuck, then all the planche training I do will be about achieving it and not the regular tuck. So. I wouldn't train planche leans to achieve a normal tuck. I would train planche leans to achieve a straddle tuck. That's what my strategy would be. So this is what my routine would look like. Three holds of planche lean, three sets of dips, and three sets of push-ups. As you can see in the beginning, I would only do three sets of straight arm pushing exercises. Later on, I will tell you how I will increase to six sets but in the beginning I'm gonna start with three sets so my goal with the routine would not just only be to increase my seconds on the planche lean but to also increase the amount of lean see that's the thing with the planche lean it's not just about how much time you can hold it because this is also a planche lean and I can probably hold it for two minutes but there's not enough lean to give me a tuck planche that's why some people can't use the planche lean properly to achieve a tuck planche because either they're not uh, doing it with proper form or they're not leaning forward enough ideally you should be able to lean to the point where your palms are almost below your pelvis but the lean is something you will have to gradually increase just as you would increase the seconds that's what's good about the planche lean because anyone can train it even if it's just a small lean before moving on I just want to say please keep a straight line I see so many people doing planche leans like this or this or even this I mean come on if you can't keep a straight line then just don't lean as much also keep your scapula protracted don't do this you're not a shark so basically I'm going to have to treat every different planche lean as its own progression level and achieve about 20 seconds before I can move on to the next one for example once I achieve 20 seconds on planche lean one 
that's when I'm going to change the routine to include six sets of straight arm pushing exercises and I would start off with three holds of planche lean two and then three holds of planche lean one for a total of six holds. When I master uh, planche lean two I would start off with three holds of planche lean three and then three holds of planche lean two and I would no longer train the planche lean one. And finally when I master planche, three, uh, planche lean three my routine would be three straddle tucks and three holds of planche lean three and I would no longer train planche lean two. And that's what basically I would do. I would follow all these progressions to reach the tuck planche. So you can try this. This is what hypothetically I would do to achieve a tuck planche. I hope it's going to help you so you can finally move on to something better. Before I finish the video, let me show you some of my recent planche struggles. So I still can't do more than five tuck planche presses to handstand. Today I did five, four and four. And in the previous workout I did five, four and three. So only a one rep increase, but it's still nice. It's a very hard exercise. I tried uh, an advanced tuck recently and I was able to breathe in the position much better, but still not quite there yet. And I also had some attempts to go beyond an advanced tuck, but I still can't do it. I also reached half lay, but I couldn't hold the position. Then again, this is still a good improvement for two weeks. You know, two weeks ago, I could only do three tuck planche presses. Now I can do five. And I have already started seeing uh, very good improvements in my advanced tuck. It will be very interesting to see uh, how strong I will be when I reach 10 reps. <laughs> 